All right, if you're ready to see us go through the boxes of we, what we thought was the organized lady that had everything, you know, in her life in order, but turns out she didn't. And we're gonna find one of the grossest things we've ever found in a storage unit. Stay tuned. <laughs> It might be that old dirt, like molding or something. Just, These old plants. Something's dead in here. What's in that one? I didn't look at it. Here's a bucket. They got one of these husky bucket covers where you put your tools in. Not really much in the way of tools in it besides there is a mag light flashlight here. All right, everyone has cleared out of here because when I opened that bucket up right here, oh my God, the smell was disgusting. That was just so nasty. I don't know what in the world, why somebody would do that, but they, were, they definitely went inside that bucket there. Did you get that on camera? No, I mean, I was taught afterwards, but... <laughs> we're still trying to get over the nasty stench back here from that bucket. Oh my gosh. Black smoke, so I can... This is just going to be like plasticware or plasticware, and then Leah just found this KitchenAid chopper. It's pretty nice. I know. Can I keep it? You want it? Keep it. If you need it. <laughs> Leah's. We just got started, it and Leah's keep pile is getting bigger and bigger. All right, we have another five-gallon bucket here. Everybody's scared to open it. This one is, it's pretty heavy, so it could be literally full of crap. We will see. If it is, everybody will be scattering here because it's going to stink when I open it. But I don't think it is because I think I'm going to smell a little bit before I open this. Because last one I did start to smell something, I just didn't know what it was. This is dirt. Potting soil. Well, they've never been open here. Two things of potting soil. Three things of potting soil. And there is one open up. So it does kind of stink down in here now because you got some some old dirt. <laughs> it smells like dirt. Don't worry. Oh, I'm the one that had to. I'm the one that had to actually see it and smell it. Well, I smelled Well, <laughs> I want to go through that container right there. Okay. Pull that out oh real quick. Okay, we'll get <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right. Lots of craft stuff are funny. You know, all this came out of this container. Look, there's little tiny wooden pallets. And then little tiny wood crates here, wooden boxes. But the pallets are funny. There's a bunch of them, tiny pallets. Look at all the vape stuff that we've got here. All that. Like look at this thing right here. That there. And I don't know how else it goes. Maybe that's it, I'm not sure. But several of the main units here.
And we got a bunch of little Vera Bradley bags. This is all Vera Bradley. That was definitely her thing, is Vera Bradley. It's all Vera Bradley. All the little wallet. This one's not. Even this clear one is. Yeah, I think that one's not. I'm trying to get down here to the bottom to see what we can find. A nice little wall mount shelf. It's a Nike box, but it is empty. LED clothespin light clips. The light switch obviously works. Ant and Roach Killer, that's full. light up mirrors here and some other odds and extension cord <clears throat> we got a little goodie box here looks like some light bulbs but let's see we got led light bar this is yeah i showed that in the original video i think a few of these things on the top a little personal air cooler i wonder if that could go in the something i don't know it's not really just put it in the regular option. Lots of little lights here. Portable. Gotta make sure these light bulbs are in here because mm -hmm. that says regular bulb, so. Right, these are all just little lights. Might have a JBL speaker here. It's definitely in there, I think. Set all those down. Try to figure out where to open it. Let's we'll see. I don't think it's ever been opened. This, yep, this thing has never been opened. Do it now? Something because there's only one of them in here, yeah. We'll just you just take it regular bulbs, oh, okay? So, yeah, that's but it, that's the bulb, though. It's just there's just one, okay, they look like the right ones, but they say regular bulbs. So I guess I'll just put them in the dollar or something. They probably swap their bulbs out or something. You don't look at the bulb well, they wrote on here, so I don't know. Cool. These hang. Look. Oh yeah. Whoa. These are they're willow tree light. These are cool. Those are cool. Oh, little yeah. hanging. Oh yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> Show lights. Um, window win candle. Oh, oh okay. Window. Those are cool. It's just one thing. Is it like uh, battery powered or something? Mm -hmm. Or does it have a little plug? Because then we could put these in our in our two main windows. Battery. Hmm. battery. <clears throat> another little light. And another little light. These look like they're going to Accurite. Backyard weather station. Let's see if this is in here. That still has the sill on it. 
So does that. This is another one. I don't think this has ever been opened right here. Sunday, I guess. Probably, yeah. We're gonna. We had a on this next Sunday night auction. We're doing it's a special Christmas auction. So it's gonna. We're trying to get all like either Christmas decor or stuff like this that's new that would make good Christmas gifts. So that speaker would make would be a good one for Sunday night also. That's what the, something they call redneck mm -hmm. wine glass. We get this speaker we could put in this Sunday night. This would be a good gift item. Oh, the phone sanitizer. She had one that was out of the box. Light bulbs. Good bag. Bag bulbs. A little speaker, I guess. Yeah, like a little Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, Another light. This one, I guess, needs batteries. Hanging. This is cool because you can kind of bend this around. This box is in better condition, I would say, some of We got the <clears throat> patio string lights here. And more, oh. just more lights. Here's some of those switches oh. that are brand new. And another light. <laughs> and then she's got switches that are just loose in here and what is that will only work with samsung galaxy that's a keyboard and then right here we've got a tablet and that's it there's a case but that's not the one for that then here's a laptop i didn't see this laptop because it's black up against the side e-machines Laptop here. And the charger, it looks like. Yep. So, this was a good box right here. A lot of nice high end stuff. Mm -hmm. We're looking in this one. It's a bunch of these little organizers and extension cords. Oh, like those hanging yeah. thing, bins. I mean, I don't know what mm -hmm. else is in there. But um, that can probably go in the auction. Neat freak. Do it. Um, they're outside. Somebody's walked around over there. What? Um, well, some of them can. Some of them go in the auction, some of them can go out there for sale. All these extension cords. Those are all the. Uh, these could all go together, though they're the same. Make a little set. Yeah, this bin is full of extension cords and all these organizers. And this one thing, I don't know what this is, some kind of toy, this is a... It goes to the table, it's for the oh, chair. Oh, it's a Minnie Mouse chair. It goes to the table. There's a table? Yeah. Minnie Mouse table? Um, right here. Oh, okay. Remember I said that Minnie Mouse Oh, Daisy? yeah, yeah. Mm. 
all right we're back here we're making a dent as you can see big dent here but still a lot of stuff left but we're making a dent finding lots of good stuff um definitely good i mean literally just container after container full of good sellable stuff and much of it is not just dollar stuff much of it is stuff that's you know going to be like five or more dollars that's a good thing but long ways to go on this one but that's a good thing is when you get it when you get a good one like this the more boxes you have then you know it just keeps adding up adding up adding up but we're going to get something to eat for lunch and then we're going to come back and tackle this thing later on all right i'm about to crack open <clears throat> this container right here another one of these nice husky containers um i just found it was a thing of books and there was like a journal in there and i was reading so this lady apparently she did have you know it appears that you know she's pretty organized i mean look at the stuff it's all nice and neat um she definitely had some problems you know i saw the papers about the eviction case where she was taken to court but in the journal i was reading um <laughs> basically i mean she kept saying over and over again that she had you know she had destroyed her life and she'd put her family in a bad place for kids i think she's talking about because she kept talking about that she was with a man who was evil and and destructive and all this kind of stuff so it's kind of sad to really no telling what happened to this lady um but yeah she was definitely struggling in life like you know so many people do at least at that point but maybe you know I, we can we can hope that maybe she um, got away from this guy and maybe just moved off somewhere else and started a new life for the better. That's what I'm hoping, anyways. Probably never know what happened, but always hope for the best for people. Even though I have no clue who this lady is and never met her. Little calendar, just. Dollar stuff. I'm trying to get down. Looks like there might be some good stuff down in there. Kind of little crafting type stuff. Make every moment count. Crafting stuff. This is, um, I think, hold on. Oh, yeah. Little stamps. So much little, I mean, just tons of little stuff. But good stuff that'll sell. Is this an actual phone in there? No, it can't be a phone. It's not big enough. Something wrapped up in here though. <laughs> okay, Mimi, it's a little foot. Sentimental kind of thing. Some kind of candy in this bottle here. She had several bottles of candy. Okay, let's see what this is. Sharper image. Oh, I'd already seen this before. It's a little um, light box. I think this is too. Yeah, a couple of light boxes. This one's, uh, they're both LED. I think this one will do color right here. Put this over here to go out. We've got lots of piles going in here. Sunday night auction, Friday night auction. We do two auctions. Um, I've got stuff that's going out just into the store to price. We've got dollar stuff. I think it's a uh, light. Okay, it's got a little charging thing, an off on button. I believe it'll light up once you charge that up. I mean, so much organization stuff like this. These, oh, I need to check. These might go to those boxes. There are letters and stuff in there. To those light boxes. Gosh. Little notebooks. all like notebook type stuff the crystal directory hundred crystals for positive fishing net like vault and uh, decorations for a party oh, here we, go. we always need this we print a lot of a lot of sheets off here like for the auction and everything so we always need the paper always good not to have to go pay full retail pricing and then we just got, good lord, look at this thing. This thing's just full of markers and pens and all kinds of stuff. What is this? Let's see. 
a compact. Just a little mirror compact. That's cool. Index cards, all kinds of stuff. And bunches of these Minnie Mouse pencils. And like I keep saying, in the container itself, it's a good find there. Here's another. I don't know what that is. Something said on that and lit up that's not here anymore. All right, I was reading some more of this person's what they had going on in their life, and apparently they did get away from this guy. That at least according to what they're saying, this guy was not good news at all. They've got a whole book in there about moving and trying to find a, they're living in a hotel and just letting go of this person that was lying and manipulative and all this different bad stuff according to that and, you know, basically starting over in, in life. So maybe that's what they did. Maybe they started over and, you know, that involved getting, letting all this stuff go. Maybe it turned out better on the, for the good eggs and boxes so far another one of these locking yellow okay this is um toys i remember looking at this one i didn't really look all in it but it's a bin full of toys got one of these little guys i don't know what the brand sleeping baby little mini sink that's kind of cool it's a little bank Put the, it's like a fishbowl bank. Hear that? And it works. Oh, we got a Cabbage Patch Kid in a dinosaur costume there. Oh, Minnie Mouse lunchbox. But I think they got some toys in it. Let's see. Yep. Kid stroller. Got the VTech toys. These VTech toys are expensive. And it works. Crazy legs. Crazy legs, learning bird. We got this little guy here, a little Mickey convertible. Looks like it needs batteries. Mini Mouse mold. A Minnie Mouse. This is gonna be like a bath mat. It's rubber. Some good little toys in here. Here's another Cabbage Patch Kid. Looks like a little, I guess, a reindeer. It's got antlers. There's Olaf. He's a little bit dirty though. Some other little odds and ends down in here. All right, we got this big husky container. Let's see, okay, this was the one that had the cameras in it. I did not look. I we skimmed through this one, but there's more stuff in here that we have not seen. So let's see. This is <laughs> this is like a okay. Let me put that back. This is like a thing from the funeral home, like the video that they play when somebody dies. You know, with the pictures and all that. It's basically that thing. From what I can tell real quick there. Nice little lantern. Pretty bright little LED lantern. Alright, we've got a selfie stick tripod. It's a selfie stick or it can turn into a tripod. Vera Bradley um, reusable shopping bag. It's a little notebook. Okay, let me get down here toward the bottom. Okay, there's something in this. Ooh, I think it's a nice Bible. Most of the Bibles we give away for free. But when we get a really nice one, you know, we will sell them because these are, you know, very, very expensive. This is a really nice one, it looks like. King James, it's all leather. King James Study Bible. 
hasn't been written in this one actually this could go into our Sunday night auction this would be a good Christmas gift for somebody it's like brand new the only thing that one little thing there the box full color I didn't even look inside of it oh yeah I just saw hold on it's got the little color coding maps in there look at this pictures this is kind of cool it's giving you like a view of certain places mentioned Hazor so that's a very nice Bible I don't know what this one costs let's see there it goes $64.99 so we will put this going in my pile over here for the our special Sunday night auction coming up where we're gonna have decor and gift items for Christmas here coming up so if you're one of our people that watch that's uh, actually you know here locally that bids in the auction just be ready for the next Sunday night one which will be the Sunday immediately after Thanksgiving I don't remember what the date is I'm like the 28th 29th something like that there's a Dymo label printer this is I remember okay the ping bag I already I'd seen that now this bag here I think I remember this is the one that looked like it had some good stuff in it we didn't didn't really look all the way down in here all right that is a mask all right. selfie lamp with smartphone holder okay so this is like it's got a little stand or it can clamp on okay and then it has the light and the cell phone holder we're doing obviously things like YouTube yeah it's all in there looks pretty good YouTube or you know whatever Facebook TikTok, all that stuff or just making videos for you know for home for home whatever you know it would actually be good if you wanted to take you know sometimes you want to take a picture of everyone that's together at a certain moment you know and not have someone have to take the, the picture Put it on that thing and then set the timer got a motion led motion tape light this is pretty cool these little lights right here you can put on something and it's got a motion sensor so you can okay they got it like under the counter there and then you walk into the kitchen and bam comes on this is a little set the packages are coming off but wait a minute smart switch Mini plug-in Wi-Fi smart switch. Hmm. Hey Google, okay, so you connect connected to Google. We got a Blink Mini camera. It's in there. I can feel it. Box is all taped up, so I'm not gonna. At the moment, I'm not gonna sit here and rip into it. Echo Show 5. Compact Echo with 5.5 screen. I haven't really, I mean, I've heard of the Echo. I haven't ever really paid attention or, you know, to this or seen this at the store. So, to show the weather, call mom. Okay. Almost like a, an alarm clock, but then does all the smart stuff. See what else we're going to find in this little goodie bag. We've got some kind of case here. Looks like a camera case see if there is a camera there we go it is a p touch my brother label maker she's got two but i haven't seen anything with the little labels that this thing makes on it you know it makes those little white sticky labels i haven't seen those on anything roku premier okay yep yeah, it's in there there's the remote there's the actual device and all the cords and these lights um i think it's supposed to be motion probably oh here we go there was a bunch of these in the package in the other box that had all the bulbs and lights and everything in it there it comes and it is bright a bright little light. Oh, 
Oh, and there is a selfie stick. Let's see if there's feels like there's something else in here if I can just find where it's at. It's like in another pocket. I don't know what that is. Somewhere. Okay, here we go. Right here, there's. Oh, okay. More stuff. This is like a kid's glasses case, I think. Um, they got band aids in it. Well, let's see. Mosquito repellent bands. No tie shoelaces. Several of those. No tie shoe. Okay, so <laughs> they're just like rubber bands that you put in place of your shoelaces. I haven't seen those before. Uh, self scrubbing silicone bristle that you put down in a bottle to scrub a bottle that you can't reach into. A little lock. And see what else we got. More of those scrubbing things. Sneaker no tie laces. Apparently they did not like tying their shoes. Little locks, like luggage locks. Uh, um, key ring. What is this? Okay, this is a lighter. It looks like one of those old butane. Firebird lighter. So another one. Oh, we got two of them here. This is a Ronson. I know I've looked had these before. These are nice. These go way back. I found some old Ronsons before. There's still I can still fill somewhere. Is it right here? There's a bunch of little pockets here. More of those mosquito bands. Okay, here we go. There's another zipper right here. Man, these bags you gotta ch you gotta check them really good because they'll have these secret little compartments. You never know where somebody might hide something really good. And we've got what is this? Motorola. Something. Some kind of little Motorola device. These go with it, yep. Okay, so these are cameras. And I guess this is like the control thing for these cameras, the control panel. And is that it? It's still, God, I still, here's another zipper. What is this? A phone, ZTE. Okay, is there anything else? The ear pods for that phone. I still feel something. There's another compartment over here. Okay, it's just a cord. Alright. There's another zipper on this side though. How many zippers does this thing have? There's the straps. Extra straps for it. I don't know what this is, like a little poncho maybe? bag is this it's a no, no, this is just open store. and there's one more zipper here down here I'm gonna check and that's um, yep shoulder strap <laughs> so this is a good little bag with a lot of um, hidden compartments in it that's for sure that thing was that bag and all that stuff in it let's see what else we might find This was the camera that we already saw, but we're gonna look at it again. Polaroid one step. Okay, we didn't see this before. It's a little digital Sony Cybershot 14 megapixel. That's pretty good. And let's see, we've got, oh, memory cards here. 16 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte. And digital Canon digital camera, so that doesn't go with that one, but 
feels like another memory card. We got some more memory cards. That's an old one. Look at that one. Those are some old memory cards right there. All right, we're hitting all these. Look at some of the pots and stuff we found. Look at this elephant pot. We found the snail yesterday. Look at this little tractor. She had like a massive succulent collection going on. Leah just took out, she just took them out of the floor with a couple of um, like big shell planters. But these things here are like full of pots. All these pots in here that everything in them is dead because they've been in there too long. But this thing's cool right here. And there's still a watering can. What we've done here is another watering can. Some different hooks and stuff. And look at these right here. These are nice. These, these pots were in there. There's a whole set there. And more pots here. Lots of pots. Nice galvanized. Look at that one there. And little, looks like a little boat almost. So that is pretty much it. I mean, didn't show every little thing because there was just so much stuff in this unit that it's hard to show every single box, every single inch of every bag and box, but kind of showed you a few things. Interesting unit, disgusting unit. It was really weird because it was clean and organized, but that one bucket, oh my gosh, that thing was disgusting. People will ask, you know, what's the weirdest thing you've ever found in a storage unit? Or what's, you know, it's like, I don't know about weird, but you can find some gross, gross stuff sometimes. And a bucket full of human sewage, it's disgusting. I'm the only one that saw it. I mean, when I opened it up, I'm, took, I'm looking at it like, what the heck? And then I figured out what it is. Everybody else smelt it. Because once that bucket was open, oh my gosh. I mean, it was, this whole area back here, everybody was gone. I turned around, everybody was gone. And then out into the store there, they were having to spray air freshener out there. The smell just went out there and just overtook the whole thing. It was disgusting. I mean, I went in there and I just washed, washed my hands and washed them and washed them. I didn't even, I mean, I just touched the outside of the bucket, but it just, it was nasty. But this poor lady, she um she definitely seemed organized at first, but she had some definite definite problems in her life, um, like a lot of people do, that she was dealing with. But um, so you never know what somebody's going through. Sometimes you know what is it? You um, can't judge a book by its cover. Same thing with a storage unit. Sometimes it's hard to tell at first what the real deal is on some of these units and stuff until you start going through them. And that's one of the fun things, one of the interesting things that a lot of people keep some hooked on buying units is reading you know people's journals reading their notes reading the notes that they write to themselves that's the most telling ones the the notes that they literally are writing to themselves like in a journal that's when they're like 100 percent honest with themselves and that's when you really learn what was going on with them and that's what I, the case was with her she had several i'd open up and there'd be a whole big long paragraph for you know written by her to her and it told the whole story and um wasn't a pretty sight but it looked like she might have been trying to move on with her life and maybe that's what she did but that's pretty much it for this unit if you like the video hit the like button give us the thumbs up that really helps us out a lot leave a comment and if you haven't already you want to see more videos like this everything relating to the resale business and the storage auction business hit that subscribe button y'all have a good one